Christy Rodriguez could have been the leader for a summer literature evangelism program in a conference, but she felt she had to come back to work with those Afghan children she had met on a mission trip to Houston, Texas. We were so thrilled to have her come. I want you to hear her tell in her own words the impact that it made on her as well as those she was reaching out to. My experience this summer was one of faith and trust because going into it, I didn't know anybody or anything. I didn't know how, where I was going to live or what I was going to do, or what my schedule looked like. And so this is a whole faith journey where I literally like did a trust fall with Jesus. <laughs> Um, and so the very first week I was in Houston, I got in contact with this lady who really wanted to learn English. And she was very, very um, determined. And she knew a little bit, but she wanted to learn more. And she also, I think deeper than that, really wanted a friend. So I didn't know what to do, but I was like, oh, I can teach you. <laughs> I know English. I grew up in the United States. I was like, I can, I can help you. And, and as I was driving to her house, I thought, oh my goodness, what am I doing? I don't know how to teach English. I am not a teacher. Um, and I was crying, praying out to the Lord, and asking Him to help me, because I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't know if I'm dressed correctly. I don't know if, you know, if I, I'm afraid to offend them because their religion and their culture is so different from what I'm used to. And so I get to her home and she is so happy to see me. Her kids are sitting on the couch just waiting for me and they're so attentive and like ready to hear what I have to say. And we just talk because speaking um, is very, I, it just helps people practice. A lot of people are afraid to speak in a different language that they haven't spoken before. So even just dialoguing is I think really beneficial. And she told me about her story, how she came to the United States from Afghanistan and she told me how they landed in Brazil and they walked and they took buses all the way up into California and eventually they got to Houston. And it was a really heartbreaking story because she told me like, my kids told me they were cold and I couldn't give them clothes. Oftentimes they slept on the floor because hotels are expensive. I didn't have diapers for my baby boy and now he's about a year and a half so he was younger when they came. She even told me she didn't have feminine hygiene products for herself. And going through the jungle, she has really long hair, like the twigs would snag, and it was just a whole journey about how they got here. And she starts crying, and, and she opens up her heart to me and tells me about all these things. And I'm just thinking to myself, oh my Lord Jesus, it's so beautiful that now she's here, and now I can be her friend. And now I can help her learn English, even if it's not like a big deal for me, it's a really big deal for her. Then we sang together. And I have a ukulele, I love to carry with me everywhere. <laughs> and we started singing a very simple, repetitive song. And the song is, God is so good. And her and her three little children were just singing that over and over again. God is so good. And that was the very first song they learned in English. God is so good. And then we read together. And something that helped me growing up was reading um, a Bible storybook. And she was reading the Bible with me. When I realized after I got home, I was like, I left crying and I came back rejoicing because I saw that God can use anyone if you're just willing. I'm not a teacher. I don't have all these like degrees or like I'm not talented or gifted in ESL. <laughs> but I have what I have and God can use that if, if I just let him use it. And as I left this summer, um, I went back to her home. I've, I've been back many times, but she, she started crying and telling me, like, I don't want you to leave. I'm very happy for you, for what you're going to do in your life, but I don't want you to leave. And she told me that she called her mother in Afghanistan and said, I have a best friend in the United States, and her name is Christy. And to this day, we're still talking. <laughs> she sent me a picture of her family this morning, and I just praise God for the opportunity that this summer was. That's just one of many, many experiences. But one thing that I've learned that God just keeps showing me, showing me over and over again is that He can use anyone. It doesn't matter your, your capabilities, your talents, your age. Um, if you want to be used by God, He'll use you. As Christy Rodriguez finished up her summer ministries program, she headed off to become Christy Rosado. Yes, she was about to get married. She had given her time and her love and energy to those young people for the summer while she could have been working hard to prepare for her wedding. This was her love and dedication 
without any stipend, without any clear program, just knowing God had called her. I invite you to consider carefully what is God putting on your heart to do. You may not have the money or the clear plan, but God is inviting you to get out there and make a difference for Him. Why? Because Jesus is coming soon. Now more than ever, Mission Matters.